So I was working on an application the other day and I needed to add in authentication and multi-factor authentication. That way I was super secure. So I wanted to show you guys a way to do that today, just in a few easy steps. I think it's one of the easiest ways to do it. And we're gonna use something called Amplify Studio. So let me show you how that works. I already created this application. You can create this sign in and create account. This is called the authenticator. Let's go ahead and create a new account. I'm gonna use an old email address. And once it's logged in, it's gonna ask me to enter a code. So I'm gonna check my phone. I'm gonna add that code in. It's gonna log me in. Now it's gonna ask me to enter a code in. And this is how I'm gonna set up the multi-factor authentication. So I'm gonna use an iOS app, but you can also use an Android app. There's one from Microsoft and one from Google called Authenticator. So I'm gonna use that app and I'm just going to take it with my phone and scan the QR code. And now on side my app, it's gonna tell me I can, it's gonna tell me the code to put in. So I'm gonna put that code in and now basically it's set up. So if I log out and I try to log back in again, I'm gonna put the code back in again. Cool, so now I'm logged in and everything works as it's supposed to. So I'm able to add in multi-factor authentication using the Authenticator app on my phone just in a few minutes. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so I have my application here. It's a Next 13 app. I want to protect this whole application by authentication and also have multi-factor authentication in it. So uh, the very easy way I can add that in here is I'm gonna open up my AWS Management Console. I'll put a link description below. You can sign up for a free account so you can do this yourself. I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna search for AWS Amplify. I'm gonna click on it. And then when that comes up, I'm gonna go ahead and click new app and then build an app. If you've never run this before, you might see something that says start an app. And you just go to build an app. I'm gonna call it uh, MFA app. And then I'm gonna click confirm deployment. Okay, so it went ahead and provisioned everything. I'm just gonna click launch studio and it's gonna open up a new tab. Now on this page on the left-hand side, I have something that says authentication. So I can go ahead and add in authentication into my app with just a few clicks. So I'm gonna click authentication here. And the most important thing is I wanna click here that says multi-factor authentication. I'm gonna make it enforced. It's gonna ask me what type of authentication I want. I can either do through SMS or authentication app application. I'm gonna use authentication application because I have one uh, on my phone. And by default, it's choosing email is the way to log in. You can kind of change this if you want. I can also add additional attributes if I need to ask additional things when a user logs in. And then password protection settings, verification settings. I'm just gonna leave default and click deploy and confirm, confirm deployment. Okay, so it went ahead and, and provisioned my Cognito backend and it gives me a little bit of instructions. So as I, I need to use the Amplify CLI and then run this command. So if I look here, I can click this link for CLI instructions, but I basically have to run this curl command. Uh, so that's one way of doing it. You can also run npm install tac g at AWS CLI. That's another way. So I went ahead and did that before I so I'll need to make sure I have a few dependencies installed. I'm gonna install AWS Amplify UI React and AWS Amplify. This is what I'll need inside my app. And then I'll make sure I copy and paste that code into the console here. All right, so I'm gonna copy and paste this code. Hit enter, hit enter, and it should automatically download everything into my next app. All right, so everything's installed. I'm gonna run npm, npm run dev again, and we'll see a new folder here. And you'll see this new Amplify folder, which will have all the CloudFormation scripts, basically everything it created for this auth backend, if we need to later on change it. And it also added in the source folder, this new AWS exports file. And that exports file is our configuration to talk to our backend. So we'll just need to do a couple of things to get everything up and running. One is I'm gonna go into this apptsx file. Now beforehand, I was playing around with the UI components library, but to get everything working here on the import in, Amplify from AWS Amplify, Amplify. And then I'm gonna run amplify.configure and I'll need to import that file, that AWS exports file. So it's a default export. So AWS exports from, there it is. Import the AWS exports and then I'll pass it in here. And this will make it so I have this AWS exports. Now I already installed the Amplify UI uh, React library like you saw earlier. 
And what I can do is I can surround the whole application by that. So I already had this import here where I was doing some theming. I'll make sure if you like to follow along. This I was just playing around in a, a separate app, just adding some themes and a protected route here. I'm gonna switch this around. So it's gonna be it's gonna be function app. I'm gonna export default app, but I'm gonna add in something here at the top. Instead of using Authenticator, I'm gonna use with Authenticator. It's kind of a high order component that I can use and I can surround my whole application by it. So I'm gonna surround it by this, I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna go back to my app. And now you can see here is the Authenticator. And just by the way, I have to install the styles, so make sure you also import the styles and import in with Authenticator. And here it is. So now I should be able to create an account, and then when I create an account, I'll be able uh, to set up my multi-factor authentication without any other updates. I'm gonna click create account. Uh, I'm gonna put in an old email address I have. Give it a default username and password. And it's gonna ask me for a code. So uh, I'm gonna look at my phone right now, put it in. And now here is the multi-factor authentication setup. So if you get to this point, best thing you need to do is to install the Authenticator app. It's in the Microsoft and Google store, or it's in the iOS or Android store, and it's called Authenticator. And there's a couple different versions. There's a Microsoft version and a Google version. Either one will work. Once you install it on your phone, uh, it's gonna have you scan it. So go ahead and you'll just have to put up your phone. I'm gonna do this and put up my phone. You can see here. I'm going to scan it and then it's going to add it to my phone and I'm just going to put the code in that it shows. I'm going to confirm. Cool. So now I'm completely logged in. Now to be able to log out, I'm going to add in uh, a logout functionality. Since the whole app is surrounded by the uh, authenticator, I'll need a way to log out. So to do that, there's a use authenticator hook. Okay, so I added this sign out. You just use it from this hook called use authenticator. And then I guess this button, I'm gonna change this to be sign out. And then on click, it's going to run sign out. Let's see what it takes, what it looks like. So I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna click sign out, signed out. Let me try to log back in with that username and password I just created. I do that, it's asking me for my TOTP code. I'm gonna look in my phone. And put it in. Cool. Now I'm logged in and now I have MFA built into my app and this information can only be accessed by someone's logged in. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'd love for you guys to try this out. Click the link in the description as well. I really appreciate it. And if you like these videos, let me know. I'll do more of them. There's so many things you can do with authentication. It's pretty awesome. Thanks.